What's going on everyone? Welcome back to EMC. Uh, we have a very cool episode because we have a brand new project. Hey, what up guys? Welcome to EMC. Um, my name is Chris. I'm half German, half Taiwanese, living since, uh, since seven, eight years here in Taiwan now and um, bumped into this guy. Uh, figured we're both into cars and watches, so um, yeah, that's why we have a little project for you guys here. I see in a lot of the comments that a lot of people say a lot of the cars that we introduce are supercars, are race cars, are sports cars. They're out of reach, they're unobtainable. Chris and I, as well as Ryan, we thought of a new project. You know, something that might be more reachable. So what we decided to do was look for cars around the two million NTD price range. So with this $2 million budget, we are going to look for a really, really cool car that has the potential to be turned into something great, something that could be compared to a supercar. Obviously, you're going to need a budget for that. So that's why we're gonna cap it off around three million NTD in total. Two million dollars for the car, one mil budget for fixing everything up. Yeah, I found this uh, R8. Everybody knows this car maybe from Iron Man. It was like one of my dream cars back in the day. And um, this one is one of the first generation, 2008, 4.2 liter. So it's the V8. Naturally aspirated yeah. V8. Yeah, I, I think they actually only produced this for about one to two years, maybe not even two years. Right? Yeah, after that they got the, the V10, which is the yeah. Gallardo engine. Right, exactly. So this is actually pretty special because I realized a lot of the car guys are actually looking for the 4.2. Um, and from a price point of view, it dropped a lot. Yeah. I think you found a gem for this price. For this price. This is, I would say, like an entry level supercar. What I think about the R8 is that it's such a classic looking car and the value right now is so low for the 4.2. Right. But if you look back, it's all V10s and this is the only 4.2 V8. I mean, when I was looking for an R8, um, there were like only two or three in whole Taiwan to get for the 4.2 liter one. So these are pretty rare now here in Taiwan. And, um, I think the price are going, prices are going, going up. Yeah. Now. However, Chris has also allocated a budget to fix everything up. Right. So EMC, we are going to help Chris and we are going to fix it up, modify it, service it, and do a whole makeover and turn it into a gorgeous beast. However, today we are in Kaohsiung at Jiping because the first step is actually going to retint all the windows. We're gonna take the original tints off because I realized that it's just a mess and it's a 14 year old car, all right? We're gonna to need to do some work with it. We gotta take care of the windows. We gotta protect the interior as well because Kaohsiung is really, really hot. is because Chris wanted to get new tints and we thought why not go with Greenway you right. know they are the best and I noticed that there's you know a bunch of scratches all over you know hence the age wear and tear but there's also some bubbles um, and it's you know I think I think this is a good start man it's a good start for a good yeah. project yeah let's go for it So I am going to introduce Yo Zhen, who is the Laobanyang of Jiping Gerezi, and they are the biggest partner to Greenway Window Tints in Kaohsiung. Hello, Yo Zhen, you how? Hello. You want to introduce yourself, Jiping? Jiping. We are Jiping for five years. Then we want the environment to be different and make customers more comfortable. OK, that's pretty cool. 然后我也有听说, 我们有很多高雄的EMC的粉丝, 还有会员, 呃, 都会来G-Pink, 贴个热字, All right, so they are the biggest Greenway partners in Kaohsiung, and they are EMC family. So, 我们是不是现在可以带Chris来选一下个热字, 然后你说不定可以介绍一下给Chris? 因为你的个热字现在已经有点脱落了。
。对。所以我想说，格林威他现在有出一张顶级的东西，我觉得他还蛮强的，蛮多客人贴的。然后他有四个色度，很多人就是前场三五，车身是十五。Okay. 是蛮多人选的，而且贴过的客人都说很好。好，对啊，所以我的车子都是前挡三米，然后旁边的窗户，然后后面的都是十五，对吧、啊？我觉得这个，我觉得这个 combination is really nice。对， cool， let's get going。超专业的，这个是不到一个小时就贴完了。哇，那那我我发现 Chris 还可以。It's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. It's like brand new one. Yeah. 哎，老板，这是不是比较黑一点？感觉比他之前的那个在黑黑一些。对，原本的格乐子它的底色是蓝色，它这个的底色它是黑色。哦，对。那这样子的话，其实白色的车子这样子配配起会比较有质感。格林威的优点就是它的底色是黑色的，了解了解。那这样子我记得要等几天它才可以。不要，超超跑它特性它就是一个无无边框设计，所以它开窗一定会降降车降车窗。对，所以我们能做的就是先帮客人设想到它这个上下车的问题，所以我们贴完会先把它烘干，那你们回去又不会有这个顾虑，就可以直接算开窗户都没关系。哇、wow, ，That's really cool， 谢谢，不用担心这个问题。好，谢谢老板，谢谢，谢谢。Yeah man, big ups to j i p i n g g e r e z i So if you guys want the most professional window tinting shop in g a o s h o n you guys know where to go. So before we get into all the details of the car,、uh, why don't we go check out the interior and Chris can kind of just feel the window tint himself. Take it away, bro. All right, so what do you think? What I like about it is like it's dark from the outside, so it、yeah. protects you in the inside. But if you look out, it's like still pretty light. Yeah, it's actually、and、not that dark. I mean, I'm wearing sunglasses, and exactly, it's、so. it's really not. It's comfortable.、Dark. If you sit inside, it's like not too dark. Like even if you drive in the evening, I think it's it's no problem. Also,、yeah. what's really cool is、um, I heard they have this technology, which actually is like an extra layer on it. And protects like the window of、uh, bacteria sticking on it. Yeah. So if you touch it, or if if like particles fall on yeah, it, or, it or whatever, it doesn't stay on. I hope you enjoy it, and、uh, it looks great. I love the contrast of the black and white right now. But since we're in the interior, why don't you tell everyone, you know, what you're thinking about changing and what you're gonna do with the yeah, interior? Yeah. Well, it's pretty stock, so nothing has changed. So everything is like exactly actually 14 years old. And what we're gonna do is、um, we're gonna change the steering wheel. We're gonna exchange it to a to a more modern looking one, and、right. then also maybe、uh, do some Alcantara there on the side. Like I was thinking about maybe something gray or something. And man, the previous owner actually wrapped carbon fiber、yeah. on this. You can <laughs> see it here, and you can also see it here. Yeah, this is, this is just, not original carbon fiber. I mean, look look it's, how it's bad it's done. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually a wrap. a wrap, and it's not even good done. Like, I mean, <laughs> yeah. The, what about the condition of the seats? What do you think? The seats are great. The seats are. I mean, I mean, they are not like Recaro or racing seats or something, but. For a daily drive, this this is totally enough. Yeah, well, I mean, there's there's a lot of potential, so let's see what we're gonna do.、Uh, why don't we step out and、uh, kind of show everyone the outside of the car? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. So do you remember when I was driving? I noticed the rear wheels. Yeah, it's like sticking out, right? So I want to show you guys. It sticks out a lot, actually.、Um, you know, it, it, it's actually sticking out by a lot. They have spacers inside here, so ah, yeah, 
That's why. Okay, I see the spacers now. Um, and it's actually very interesting because this is 295. I know that you could probably stick 325s in here without the spacers. Without the spacers. Without the spacers. Yeah. yeah. So I, I would imagine you're going to have some rubbing, and I actually think that this is quite low. Yeah. Do you have right. rubbing? There is rubbing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I changed the tires already because okay. they were rubbed. So this is what happens, like. Uh, if you have a low car and you have wheels a little bit out, so you have the spacers here in the front and in the back, and these little cracks happen on the front bumper. So if the car is too low and the wheel is already like, you see this, this, yeah. this kind of space here. Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, these are issues that we can all fix, but I did also notice the body kit that the previous owner bought is actually not very not good. good. Yeah. I mean, from afar, like you don't see the details from afar, but yeah, but if you take a look, but if you like, take a look here, what happened? Okay. What this guy did is, um, um, I'm assuming he just used some really cheap parts. Yeah, he wanted to save some money, which is understandable. So if you guys take a look, check out the lines, man. It's just I mean, there's a gap right here. Um, and then it kind of closes up a little bit, and then there's another gap like here and, and here. So this is not the best quality which they use. I mean, everybody has a budget, everybody has different taste and style. So guys, since we're still in the back of the car, I'm gonna show you something very interesting. Man, this car is in bad shape. Look at this. This is this is all broken. There's there's no way of fixing it but to replace it. And. Uh, you know what, but this is what I'm talking about. I actually think Chris is very smart for, you know, lowballing the owner because of all the defects. So for all the viewers out there, if you know that there are some cosmetic problems and you have an extra budget to fix everything, it's not a bad thing to go bargain with someone because you know that the engine's good, you know that this car is great, it's just little things. I mean, yeah, this this looks terrible. Into oh man, this is really bad on the, on the bottom. If you guys can get a closer look, I mean, <laughs> he's he's using a zip tie to tie this up. This is how fucking bad this is. Yeah. But another thing is that we know this car has never been in a big accident. Right. Small stuff like this, it's acceptable. That's acceptable. If the frame of the car is not damaged or bent. I think it's all good, right? You know, because cars with age, they're gonna have to be repainted from rock ships or whatnot. But you know, that we, but I mean, we it's can, a fourteen-year-old car. And yeah, but we can deal with that maybe with a car wrap, or maybe right. we can change the color later on right. or something. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, there's a lot to come. So this is what happens if, if your car is like really low, and it touches the ground. So the the front bumper goes up and hits the hood. Hits the hood. So just from looking at the exterior, we have quite an aggressive body kit. Right. But if you look at the fine details, it's just not very well made. Um, and I'm assuming that's why you got a good bargain on this car, yeah, right? Yeah, the deal was good. I mean, uh, most importantly, the engine should be okay. So yeah. everything else is just like cosmetics. You can fix it up. And that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, he found an amazing deal. This was like around two million. Two right? million, yeah. Yeah, listen, seventy something thousand km. Engine is good condition. We know that everything else is working properly. So guys, we have a lot planned for this project. So we hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. This project has just started. It's just begun. Stay tuned for more. Yeah. First of all, I want to thank Sunny. Ryan, the whole EMC team to let me have this opportunity to show this little project and share it with you guys. Thanks very much for watching and um, yeah, thanks to Greenway anyways. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So thank you Greenway for always showing us so much love and thank you Jiping Gorozi in Kaohsiung. Well, to all the Kaohsiung fans out there, thank you so much for the support. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Peace.